got going on down here. So, ate a lot of meat for supper. So I think 246. Oh, this is like my new funnest game. That I could just guess my weight every day. All right. Okay, I'm getting dressed. And I'm making some espresso. Because you need like four guys on the tractor. I think it's kind of funny. What you guys just saw was a, a little video there. Um, I was out with a student, and so the AC is actually broken in my truck right now. So it gets so hot. So what we ended up doing was uh, just pulling off. We went for a drive, you know, spent a couple hours out. Then pull off for 10 minutes or whatever, take a little break. And when we pulled off, we found blueberries. Big wild, blue, big wild blueberry field thing. Eh. Big wild blueberry bush in the field. That was a moment I just had. So, um, yeah, so we just stopped. We chowing down on some fresh blueberries there for a minute. Um, now I'm heading home. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of going to the gym. I feel so hot right now. Like, sexy and hot. Like, hot because it's hot outside but also hot because I'm super thin and hot now. So, terrible. But, um, yeah, so it is so hot out right now that I, I need to do something. Like, I don't know what to do. It's 33 degrees without the humidity. And it is, like, it is, ugh, makes me feel sick. So I don't want to go work out. I don't want to do anything. I want to go home. I want to put on a pair of shorts and I want to go somewhere swimming. That might be happening. I might just go to whatever's closest and do that. Um, tomorrow's my last day of work for the week. So. Yeah. I might just uh, do that. See if I can get home in a half decent time so that I don't end up so that I don't end up uh, you know not sleeping or whatever but I gotta do something. Like I said, I feel like weird. So yeah. We have the ocean. The ocean, yeah. We have the ocean right beside us. I, I heard on a uh, on a comedy thing. I forget what it is even about. I don't remember any of it. I just remember that he kept saying something about the ocean, the ocean. It was like a funny thing, and I've called it the ocean so many times recently that I can't tell if I'm saying it right. Sometimes that's bad. What is it? You know. If you do it for long enough, your face will stay that way. So yeah, um, so I'm just gonna go see if maybe Laura wants to go swimming, but if not, I might just grab my swimming trunks and a towel and take off and go find some water somewhere. There's lots of it around. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, so I'm home. Laura get some groceries. She asked if I want anything. I said veggie straws. Very good. Barbecuing up. Two burgers, two hot dogs, and uh, making Laura a uh, chicken burger. So we are going to the beach. Should be a good time. Oh, it just went down. Yeah, it's a full 10 degrees now, Laura. It's very warm in the city. And Sam was really hot after work. I mean, I'm really good looking all the time. And, but, uh, oh, different kind of hot. He wanted to go swimming and it instantly dropped 10 degrees. 11 now. 11. 
It's 21? Yeah. It was Holy. 32 degrees at our house. It's like so hot in the house. And it, no, it was 32 outside the house. But now we're going here. I'm so excited. This is my favorite beach ever. Really? Oh, Not yeah. Clam Harbor? No, I like Clam Harbor. This is it. I like it because I've always wanted to surf. <laughs> Do it. You should rent a board, Sam. Maybe on the weekend. That would actually be super fun. I surfed when we were in... Uh... Oh, just one set. Even though you don't wear it. That's where I put it when you give it to me. <laughs> Look at all the work they did. That's crazy, eh? Like new bathrooms and stuff. So they took away from all the other beaches and just added here. Because they literally... Clam Harbor doesn't have a house anymore. All they have is two outhouses. Nice, just like holes in the ground to poop in. Yeah. Nice. I kind of I might poop myself today. Um, yeah, very excited to go to the beach. Actually, that would be super fun. If we, <laughs> yeah. if we don't super. actually think of anything to do on the weekend, Laura, this would actually be super fun to come down here and go surfing. Um, when when I was in Florida. Yeah. When I was young, I uh, surfed. I surfed on a on one of those like man-made waves at a. Park, yeah, and I could get up to my knees. All right, your knees. All right, <laughs> I'm like a pro. It's crazy. Yeah, I th it, it seems a little scary. What does? Especially going with Amanda Jolly more so much this summer. Mm hmm. Um, I'm a little bit terrified not to touch. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, Amanda would be on a floating chair, sitting, saying, guys, I can't touch, guys, I can't touch. And it's like, Amanda, you're floating on a chair. We use the roof racks for it, too. Flip flops. Yeah, right. You're... Oh, I just rolled. <laughs> nice. We found some sand. Nice sandy spot on the beach. Right here. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long time since I've been at this beach with the tide all the way in, apparently, Laura. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We found some sand. But just wait, is the water coming up here? Uh, it was, but now the tide's in, so now... It's not all the way in for now. That's my favorite beach. That's crazy. Oh, oh, it's giving me... It's giving me goosebumps just walking. Yesterday, okay. Yesterday, I went to the beach, and it was the coldest water I've ever been in. Is it cold?
It's rocky yeah. now. Was it warm? Yeah, it was good once you get in. Nobody believes you. It actually was. Still cool down. I did some swimming. I feel cool down too. Right? Yeah. Laura feels cooled down and she uh, sat on a lot of rocks and watched me swim. Um, this beach, there's a lot of waves. It's a lot of fun. There's a couple waves that hit me in the chest and like, knocked me over, which is saying a lot because I don't think I went past knee deep water. Sunset off in the distance. There really is no joke, like it's just a mountain of rocks. Like I don't understand. Is there ground under these rocks? Or are we just Scrooge McDuck in it and just stand it on a pile of stones? It must be ground. That was a silly question, Laura. Why'd you ask that question? What? Why'd you ask that question, Laura? What question? Yeah. Oh, why is the water so calm on the other side of the road? Because that's a lake. Is it? I, I always thought it was just, like, to be completely honest, if you want to know where my brain comes from, I kind of thought it was the water when these waves got too big and they crossed the road <laughs> and then it just stays there. Sam, you're definitely country country. Yeah, nobody said I was smart, Laura. The overflow? Yeah, that's the overflow. There's overflow parking, there's overflow oceans. And that's how lakes are made. Welcome to the school of Sam. Learning what lakes are. All right, I'm home, filling up my water. It's full. And I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I have to go take a shower first. Then I'm going to bed. I'm tired. <coughs> and uh, yeah, so tomorrow's kind of my Friday. Um, I'm off for four days. It should be very nice. So, uh, Laura and I are going to party hard like rock stars all weekend. Don't know what we're going to do. Party hard like rock stars. Good plan. It's a good place to start. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.